Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about how to get primary key value uh, that is auto generated keys from the inserted queries using JDBC. So if you are using uh, ORM tool like uh, Hibernate, then Hibernate has capability to return uh, auto generated key using API like uh, save right save method you have a session dot save and that returns the gener auto generated keys so similarly similar functionality we want to achieve over here so so let's see how we can achieve uh, the same when we are inserting a record into a database table and the primary keys and auto generated uh, increment or auto generated key then the insert query will generate it dynamically uh, in this video, I will show you how to get these keys after insert statements. So you will have to call get generated keys method on prepare statement. It will return you result set from which you can get auto incremented column values. So uh, already I have created a project in Eclipse, right? With the name get primary key return demo and first of all i required a database table uh, in my database schema is called jdbc tv so let's create this table so so now i have created a table let's refresh it so here i have created the table and this table does not contain any record as of now just we have created so now table creation is done now let's go through the uh, code which I have done offline so here I have a client program which is having a main method and here I have a private method which is basically it creates few employee objects and uh, finally I have added this employee object in the in, in, in the list and same list is going to return to the caller it's pretty straightforward it's a private method and this list basically I have created three employee object employee 1 employee 2 and employee 3 and all three employee object i have created in this list and same list is going to return to the caller so this list is get collecting over here we are just collecting over here and i have a, a DAW interface which is having a only one method create employees which accepts list of employees and i have its implementer class it's called employee DAW IMPL which implements this interface and overrides create employees method and here I have a dynamic SQL query insert query and here I have specified the column names and placeholder and this placeholder will substitute one by one we will retrieve the employee object from the list and will substitute this placeholder with actual value right and I have used try with resources so uh, as we know that Java 8 onwards uh, connection interface basically extend auto closable interface so we can use connection as a try with resources and uh, prepare statement also extend auto closable interface so that is also I'm using as a try with resources so uh, connection as well as prepare statement you don't need to close explicitly in finally block this will be closed automatically and of the program right by the JVM itself when you use try with resources then this is the one of the java 7 feature now employee list just i'm iterating in within this for each loop and uh, i'm getting every employee from this list and uh, just i am setting every value in the prepare statement every placeholder value and uh, uh, every record every insert statement just i'm adding as a batch so i have used batch operation over here that already i taught you in previous video tutorial now once this loop getting over then control will come out and just i'm trying to execute just i'm calling the execute batch method on prepare statement this will send all insert record in the one sort in the database and uh, and this all records will be inserted into the database and here you can see a ddl query uh, in ddl query you can see primary key that is employee id i have made auto incremented so value for this column we are not sending right so this will uh, be auto incremented that will start from one two three something like that 
right and after that i'm calling a method is called get generated keys which is available in your statement interface and we know that a statement is a super interface of prepare statement if you look into the prepare statement prepare statement extends a statement so this is a sub interface and if you look into the call level statement then call level statement extends prepare statement so there is some inheritance hierarchy so call level statement extends prepare statement and prepare statement extends a statement so method which is available in the statement you can inherit from the prepare statement object right so that's the thing so i have called get generated keys but one thing you will have to keep in mind when you want the generated auto generated key primary key to be returned then you will have to create your prepare statement in a little different way so look at here here we got the connection by calling this uh, get connection method and i have been talking about this utility class from since from many videos so this is pretty straightforward here i have use a static block to create connection object right initially just i am registering the driver by calling uh, class dot for name but this statement is not required anymore from jdk 1.6 onwards if you comment this one still this is gonna work for you make sure that you have added our latest uh, mysql jar in your class path right and so when you call dbutil dot get connection then first of all a static block will be executed and connection will be created and same connection is going to return to the caller pretty straight for now come back uh, so now you got the connection object using this connection object uh, we are just creating the prepare statement and there is one method is called uh, in prepare statement prepare statement has a lot of overloaded method if you look into the prepare statement then you have a lot of overloaded method uh, sorry that method must be in the connection interface so go to the connection interface so so see a lot of methods i have been talking about the we have already discussed we have seen in demo this method this method also we have seen and uh, uh, this method we haven't seen but uh, you can explore yourself first parameter basically text result set type then result set concurrency and then result set holdability but one of the method i would like to talk over here uh, prepare a statement which takes two parameter first parameter is the string and second parameter is the integer so here first parameter is the sql query itself but second parameter is the auto generated keys it's an integer value so some constants you need to specify and same i have done here over here i have i'm passing sql statement as a first parameter and second parameter there is a constant in a statement uh, interface right and value of this constant is one so how this is this value is getting uh, used internally by its implementer that depends on the implementer but only you need to use this constant that's it so uh, as we know that so this this is a static constant right a static this is a interface if you declare any constant in the interface then even though if you do not put a static keyword before this constant is still this is considered as a static a static variable right a static constant right so directly we can call by the interface name so so this is the way to create a prepare statement when you want auto generated key to be returned to you right this is the key points now just i'm iterating adding the batch and just i am executing the by batch by calling this and you will have to call this method gen get generated keys and you get the result set you will iterate the result set and just i am trying to print generated employee id and there is one only one id only one uh, value will be returned only one column will be returned that is the primary key column right? and that is type of integer that's why i am passing index as one and this will print all generated keys right so everything is set up now we can and this is an employee class which contains private fields and corresponding set getter method and that we are using in our client program to create an object create object of employee and this employee which just we are adding in this list so let's run this program and see what happens so i'm going to run this client program And see saying that generated employees id one two and three three record we have inserted just right now 
in, in a batch and uh, uh, primary key of first insertion is 1 for 2 second insertion 2 and for third insertion 3 so if I go to the database and refresh it and you can see three records we have inserted in the batch and primary keys of these records are 1 2 and 3 so I hope you enjoyed learning I hope you understood this code how to get the uh, generated key value so here basically I have used batch but uh, even though if you try to insert a single record and if you call single or multiple records if you call instead of executing as a batch if you call it uh, prepare statement dot execute update then still you can make use of this method and primary key will be returned to you right so I hope you understood this this demo and uh, uh, this code I am going to upload on our github and github location I will specify the video description itself. If you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel that encourage me to upload more and more videos. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.